Hello friends! Welcome to my channel Alina Craft Studio. Today I want to show and tell how I make 3D letters and numbers. They are becoming popular and will be a great addition to a party decoration. You can decorate the letters for any theme. They are perfect for candy table or smash cake photo session. In this video I will show you a few options how you can make them by yourself. I bought my letters on Etsy. It's ready to cut templates. They cost me $9 for entire alphabet and numbers. It's a great price and the most importantly I like their shapes and proportions. Together with digital files you will receive detailed instruction how to set up letters in Cricut Design Space. So I wouldn't stop on it now. If you have any question, write it in the comments. The second way you can find letters in Cricut Access, but one letter costs $2. If you will use more, it's not a profitable. Also, I don't really like the elongated shape. And third option, if you don't want to invest, so find Jennifer Maker and she has free digital files. Only one little difference that her letters are assembled like a box. This is how it will look. I made my design in Design Space program and cut all details with my Cricut machine. For 3D letters I use thick cardstock that I buy at Joanne's store. And when I cut pieces on my Cricut, I choose heavy cardstock settings. Before assembling, make sure to blend each fold. For this I use a scraper. Just bending with your hands, as my experience has shown, is not enough. It's very important that all the corners of our letter match perfectly. And for this we need perfectly right angles. And we repeat this with every detail. The next moment is to carefully look at the front and back sides of the letter. For example, the letter S can be confused with the top and bottom. I recommend before assembly to place all the parts of the letter on the table in the right spot and only after that start to assemble them. For example, I have this instruction. It went with my letters. It helps me to quickly find the right part. I use barely hard glue. I know someone uses a bacon or hard glue. But the first option is more convenient for me. Each letter and number is specific. I usually start assembly the inside of the letter and then move on to the outside. There is no need to rush here. Barely hard glue allows you to correct the situation if it doesn't match somewhere. It's important to make sure that all corners are clearly aligned with each other. We are almost at finish line. Because of our letter is from cardstock, it's quite light. So to give it some weight and stability, I glue glass gems inside. And now we start the most important and difficult part of our assembly. We have to glue the front part of our letter. Usually I start gluing from the top part of the letter. Make sure that all the corners are joined exactly to each other. And then I move on to the bottom. We check that all sides are glued and after that the assembly of the letter is completed. And we can start decorating it. My letter made for birthday party in a daisy theme. So first I assemble daisies, then layers with the name. Small pieces I connect with glue and for last layer I use foam tape. Mm -hmm. 
With the help of my embossing machine, I decorate the front layer of my letter. Look how cute is it! I am delighted with my embossing machine and highly recommend it to everyone. And here is my final result. In addition to the letter, I made cake and cupcake toppers. If you are interested how to do things like this, subscribe to my channel, don't miss any new videos.